Hi there, welcome to my video where I'm going to be assembling this uh, Calmato Alpha Sport 40. It's a ARF kit that's produced by Kyosho in Japan, although they're actually made according to the box that it came in in Vietnam. Now I've done an unboxing video of this and if you're interested in having a look at that then have a look in the description below and there will be a link to the video where I've just run through the uh, unboxing and the components that, that we get in the box. So, so far I've just been working on the wings, I haven't touched the fuselage at all and the wings seem very well made, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. And I've just been mounting the servos and using the instructions that come with the, the kit or the, uh, well yeah, kit and uh, there's two sets of instructions 1A5, 1A4, not quite sure why but anyway the, the wings seem very good quality put together really nice and the, the components that you get like the, the servo mount for, for the wings is very good quite pleased with that and I've, I've used all the components so far that, that came with the kit with the exception of the the screws here I put hex head screws rather than cross head I, I just I just find them safer rather than using the pressure you have to to use to to use cross head screws it's it's just so much more secure with a, a hex head and you've got less chance of slipping off and, and damaging the uh, the plane. I haven't put the wheels in yet, I've put the slot in the covering surface that will take those and I've threaded the cable up through and to the top of the wing here, there's a hole there. It's a, 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 low, a low wing plane and, um, and so this is going to mount up onto the fuselage. Now the next job I've got to do is to actually join the wings together and in the plans it says to push them together and to just simply tape them and what it comes with is it comes with this aluminium tube which slots into the wing it's a very nice precision fit I'm, I was quite impressed with how tight and smooth that went in it's nice also that the burrs have been taken off the end of the the aluminium pipe so that it's not catching as it goes in. I've also got a, a rear locator peg that goes in a hole here again a nice tight secure fit and the wings just slot together and as I said I, I'm, I'm quite impressed at how tight this was when I put it together earlier. Just slide these together There we go, and that, that is a lovely fit and uh, in the instructions it says just push them together, no glue needed and you just put a bit of tape here to, uh, to hold them together. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not totally um, happy with that idea and th there is a little bit of movement there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some epoxy between the, the uh, the jointing surfaces. I'm going to slide them together and I'm going to make sure that these are level front and back and so it's because there is a very slight bit of movement as you'd expect and we've got the locating dowels here that go into the we've got the locating dowels there that go into the fuselage and I'm just going to put some elastic bands around those to pull them together and I put in the, the screws for the to, to for the wing rear wing attachments and I'm just going to put elastic bands around those top and bottom nothing major nothing really tight but just enough to uh, to hold that together I think that's just going to be a better solution and I'm not going to want to separate the wings so I'll get on and do that now and then we will come back and we'll have a look at the fuselage and start to uh, start to pull that together but these wings look lovely and they've gone together lovely and uh, and I'm quite pleased with the components that you get and uh, and the fit and everything just looks really nice 
Actually, one other change I made to the fittings as well was the control horns that were supplied with 2 mil machine screws with a crosshead fitting and I just don't like the pressure that you need to put on as with the the bolts here on this um, servo mount and so once I drilled them through I put in some hex head bolts again domed headed I'll turn it over and show you in a second and I've put on some lock nuts the original fittings were just to screw into the plastic and be held that way I'm a kind of belt and braces guy so putting these nylock, 2 mil nylock nuts just seems a lot more secure and I'll just turn that over as you can see there I've got these lovely domed head machine screws on the top with a, a, a hex head fitting rather than the cross head I, I just find those so much better right well I've now got the wings epoxied together and if you have a look at this picture that I took when it was gluing you can see how the, the, the pegs at the front and also the wing attachment bolts are being used to just to pull the two halves of the wing together. Like I said previously, no great pressure, just enough to hold them in place. And the wings have gone together lovely, it's nice and smooth, it, it, it fits together really good. Well, one thing I did notice when uh, putting these bolts in is that the holes on the back here, as I was taking them in and out, these attachment holes, bolts actually come up through there into the fuselage. They were sort of shredding bits of balsa because it's, it's quite soft balsa I think this back edge. So what I've done is I've just put a little bit of um, CA in these holes just to make that a lot stronger. And I've just done that recently and I suspect I need to just run a file or a, a drill through that now just to open that up and, and so these will, these will go, go in okay. But I was just concerned about over time with these coming in and out and being turned just making these holes bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's just, just strengthen that area. But this has gone together great and it seems really, really quite nice and strong. So I'm still going to put tape on here like it recommends in the manual. I, I, I need to just think about what to do. I want something that's really quite sticky, maybe hinging tape. Anyway. The wings now are completely finished and I'm going to move on to, well, I say that except for I've still got to screw these in, but there's just a couple of nylon um, braces here which hold the wheel uh, uh, legs in place for the landing gear. Again, I will use on these screws, same as here, I'll use these hex head um, screws or machines, well they are screws, yeah. So, but this is in all, all intents and purposes finished. I mean, there wasn't a great deal to do anyway, but now I'm going to move on to start the fuselage. 